Welcome back to on Son of Beast. Um, this is another uh, time that we are about to be doing here. For today's uh, suggestion, I did a review on the track stars, but not that long. There's some others that I have right here. But before I get on to this, um, here's a, here's another uh, suggestion I could use. This model is going to be the trucks that are all lined up right from here. And as you can see the line, it's like it, this is like a, a starting matchup right from the section. So I counted one of each um, one of each uh, models that I have. Um, this one right here, this is the Ford Ford uh, Ford section right here. Right down there is the Chevy section. Of course, you guys already know uh, which car that you already seen some uh, some track times, including this guy. This is the custom '69 Chevy pickup truck. He has gotten with flames. He was from the H case. 2014 and that definitely came out six years ago and definitely might be boosting it up for another season right from here in this section this is the Toyota right there Toyota off-road truck and you got the tires here and the, and the Toyota Tundra the problem is right now because the wheel is like sticking outside of a track and he he's not excellent doing the uh, boosters loops and curves and and he may not be able to do the downhill racing I'm gonna have to test him out pretty soon before before I begin and over here uh, one Datsun one Nissan and one Jeep this looks like an off-road guy but it doesn't look like it was showing from here but other section of cars are right down there as you can see I've already done the lineups right there I tested which cars out here could do better, but some others may not be doing the same thing as as for you guys to be seeing this. Here's some uh, national cars, um, the international cars. Um, we have some of each cars that you guys already know from Monte Carlo, from the Alpha, or um, more McLaren, Velocity uh, Strat, or uh, Ancia Stratus. I don't know about that one. Pagani, Oira. This one, uh, this one's a grayer version. That was back from 2013. Q case track time. Yeah, from Mark. He has done a review. Uh, if you want to check out the time black, you could do that. So, and this one is Mastretta. Scoraccio GT24, looking very good. Nice deco design. It looks almost like. Which one is that from here? D O eight. Hmm. I'm not sure which country that is, but uh, it looks like number O eight. My, my personal way, I say is Scaracho. It's not Scarcho. Scaracho is you pronounce the name. Alpha Romeo H C Competition La Fasta Gazelle G T. The eighty six Monte Carlo. That's the that's the only one that Dad. I think Dad really likes this kind of car. I'm not sure if he if he really likes that, but he could be that cool. McLaren, right there. That's where. That's what it is. Then a Citron. Something notice. Every deco I found it on the car. It looks all right. Wyura. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if Wyura is the only kind of that was in here. And the Lancia Stratus. Some guys, this guy is like going fast. I'm thinking from 2016 uh, track time, 2015. I don't know. Give him a shot if you guys know that. And the cars are right down here from the sides. Yeah, I have a couple minis right there. Mini Genesis. That could be fine already. Looking very cool and uh, looks very nice. Before I get started, here's some adjustments I had. And here's the other cars that are, right, are down there. That's Mercury Cougar, Fiat, Chrysler 300C, a DMC, like I already seen in a track time, but he's going to do it again. Uh, Mazda, or X7, Bentley, Datsun 240Z, and the Tesla Roadster. 
And take a look right here from some new changes that I had. I put the basketball right down there, um, as you guys could see, right down from here. I know it was a little bit high up to, uh, to do from here. And then I don't have any room to put up the game pad, Wii U game pad, right from here. I moved the uh, frame back just to make sure if it gets a good room here. Looking very nice right down here. New changes right now. Um, put the Lego model right down there. And I put some planes and I put a helicopter right down there with that one. And then one car right here, a Ferrari. Larger Ferrari car. Hmm? I'm not sure about these two cars, but hmm. Could they fit on a track? We're not sure. That's that's my uh, dunk right down there. And take a look from here. This is uh, planes and other sets. That's very nice. And then on the wall, new changes. Here I have some pennant flags right down there. And looks very fantastic. Uh, right, around, right above the Sonic pictures. On the left right there, I have is the New York Mets. And the, uh, the Yankees. And two of each uh, original contents of the baseball. Pretty neat. Up there, got yeah, the New York Rangers. Uh, yeah, Rangers are not having a good season today, but they'll be back until next season. They already got got shot out over by the Hurricanes. We'll see what they do next season for the Rangers by the year of 20 to 21. And some basketball play uh, teams that are in the playoffs: Pacers, Celtics, and of course. The Sixers, but only two teams to battle of each other in 2020. That's the rivals. One right here in the middle. This one, it looks fantastic. I really like taking the uh, Celtics and the good one. And the Sixers. Good Sixer with that one here. I like the ball. I don't think the bell won't be my only thing to do that one here. And the Pacers, they left it by itself upstairs. Like, um, like up from the top. Right from here. That's the one I got here for Christmas. I don't know if it was last year or two years ago, but I'm not sure if I get that anything. In today's presentation, we're going to do is do some trucks. This is part one of the racing tournament. And finally, those cars right down there. Dodge sections, Mustang and Shelby section of the Fords, Camaro section, and the Chevelle section. Which um, which some of each uh, have a Chevy Nova, or Impala, or something like that. I'm not sure if I have this one correctly, but looks like it's very uh, unique. But to sum it all up, the matchup will be right in into its place. One of each trucks will be definitely will be taken down the down the hell section right here. Other trucks are going to race again. So. With only four cars from the um, are on the Chevelle side, we have to pick two winners for this time, and we need to see who could win the first competition ever. First, I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with uh, with the Ford section, Ford Transit Connect. I don't know if it's a uh, if it's a truck section or something like that because I'm not sure if it's the right one to take a look at it this is the um, this is the um, 15 Ford F-150 uh, with the off roady wheels of the truck this one right here this is another one up on the model oh sorry a little flurry 1979 Ford F-150 and it comes with the roof if you want to pop this off here hold on I'll show you from here so when you pop this one off, hold on a second. Watch this. Boom. See that? Not, and it comes off right from here. Pretty cool, huh? Now that's 1979 uh, Ford F-150. That looks like a very good truck. Uh, I'll just uh, I'll make sure everything gets there. Very good truck. Next up on right here is the custom Ford Bronco. Off the wheels. Might be good for the downhill, we'll find out. Then the 2009 F-150, uh, this is the only truck models that this guy has. 
So that's the Ford section. Now coming up from the Chevy section, um, we have is the 83 Chevy Silverado. Might be metal. I'm not sure if we could do that booster or the loops and curves like here. But it doesn't seem to be quite popular to get them from here. Ah, that surfboard. <laughs> I don't know why Why does he get, this guy has a surfboard. This is the uh, Custom 62 Chevelle as I have the car. And we'll go ahead and put this line up here. And if you could pop this off right here from the surfboard, it pops off. Um, yeah, I can't do it from the camera because it's not doing it well. And you want to pop this uh, surfboard off? You could do this. That's kind of stuck. Oh, you slide it off. Okay. So when you're ready, you slide this off, and it comes off like that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this off for right now because I don't want this surfboard to get caught by anything. I don't want this guy to get lost. Then right here. Have the Chevy Silverado, original one, a newer model of a Silverado, and the custom 69 Chevy pickup. Interesting car. Looks like it got flames. Interesting enough. Have you heard seen it from the 2014 HK unboxing video and a um and a track time? Make sure you do that. The link I'll give you a link in the description at the end of the video. Um if I get this one right. From the Toyota, we have is the Toyota off-road truck. Its wheels fit. Looks like almost like a Baja truck to me. Hmm. I don't know if it's a Baja truck or any kind. I don't know. Ten Toyota Tundra. Problem is that the wheels might be too too long to do it from here. I'm not sure if he's gonna do well with the boosters, loops, and curves. But you know what? This guy, I always test him out, but I'm gonna test it later. And if for single parts we have is the Datsun, the Nissan, and Jeep. Starting off as a Datsun 620, the only truck that I found. Nissan Titan, only the model that has a wheel hidden out. And the off-road part was Jeep Scrambler. Alright, so let's get this lined up and here we go. Unfortunately for 10 Toyota Tundra, his wheels don't fit on the track. He's a little bit wide off right now, and then when you when you put him on a starting line, you put it where it is, right from here. But when you could see the uh, the wheels is like sticking out from each other, and then and right down here you could hear it scraping. So that does not work with the 10 Toyota Tundra. Unfortunately, he will not be able to do the downhill, but he's going to do the off road, and he's going to watch it from the stands here. So, Tan Toyota Tundra will not work with the boosters, loops, curves, and downhill racing. So, right now, we ask that Toyota Tundra will work it off with these guys, with Nissan and Jeep and Datsun. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and find out who will take three wins. And with that, enjoy the video. Alright, here we go. Let's get started off with some of each cars that we're going to do. Um, I'm going to go ahead and um, set up the um, set up four cars we have here. Now, now if the trucks get stuck right from the right from the, the, the setup right from here, I will have to like keep an eye on that. But it's not that really uh, tough making sure everything gets there fine. I'm not sure about Ford Transit Connect, but um, it looks like it happens sometimes for myself. But it, but it looks like uh, Ford Transit Connect could be a truck model, or or probably it might be the um, a car. You know, I'm not sure about that, but um, well, we'll see what we can do right from here. So here are the first four models in the group, ready to go. Let's see who takes a win. Ready, set, go. So we got a first one, first car that was in here. Let's um, let's take a look and see um, at the finish line, right from down here. All right, so fourth place was in the better place for a uh, custom Ford Bronco to go through. Third place was the 
15 Ford, uh, uh, 15 Ford F-150. Second place model was definitely the toughest one of the 1970, what do you call that? 1970, 1979 Ford F-150. So in first place position, that was a Ford Transit Connect that took a better place in the position. Now for the second second to try for to do the uh, do some cars that we'll go ahead and do some facing is um, is one of each Chevrolet models that um, I'm gonna be doing one of each cars at the same time. But the bigger wheels on the outside, I have to keep an eye on that one here because sometimes they get stuck on the uh, you know I, they, they they of course they get stuck right underneath here and now the new and now the car that we're going to put in is the 2009 Ford F-150. These are all truck models ever that we'll see. And see what is happening right from the setup. Here we go. F-150. Still need to get there. 1979 or 15 Ford F-150. But 2009 Ford F-150 has got to get there. And custom Ford Bronco has to find out if he's not going to make it enough or gets quit from the track. On your mark, get set, go! And we have a winner. Let's go from the finish. And 15 Ford F-150 was not doing it really well. Off the target. Sec third place was now custom Ford Bronco. Looking good. 79 Ford, again, missing out. But the winner in lane two, 15 Ford F-150. Kind of smaller car. Looks like he will take it from here. Now moving on to the Chevrolet models. One of each Chevy dealers I can do is to have some um, Ford parts. Let me put you in lane three. And then this guy, um, the Chevy Silverado. I like putting the Silverados in the, uh, I'm sorry. I like putting the Chevy, Chevy Silverados on the, uh, on the right side. And then they put it on the left side because that might be a very good idea. we do, uh, just a couple stops. And, uh, looks like I have everything good up. Let's, uh, let me check out the adjustment. Want to make sure everything gets their uh, save. All right, now the next four are ready to go. Three, two, one. Uh oh, looks like uh, Chevy Silverado got stuck by the baby there. Yeah, it looks like he got stuck. Yeah, so Chevy Chevy Silverado didn't really think he was going to get that time because all of a sudden he fell out too soon. Ah, third place. That was the custom '62 Chevy, man, and it and a Silverado and '83 Chevy Silverado. How could that be? Well, winner winner of that one in lane four was the custom '69 Chevy pickup. Looks very good. Now for the last time, uh, I will take the, uh, now remember, uh, this looks like a Chevy Silverado is a little bit high off right now, but unfortunately, I don't know what he could do right from this section from, from here, so I, I put him on the outside, and then I'll put the 83 Chevy Silverado right down here as much as I keep it up from here. Let's see. Yeah, this guy, uh, Chevy Silverado, he could be too long to, uh, to keep an eye on the track, but the Custom 62 Chevy may be alright on the track, but the 83 Chevy, 83 Chevy Silverado may be on a good shape. Just gonna find out if he's gonna get there. Three, two, one. Well, that good shows up in good timing. It looks like Chevy... Silverado 
did show it up. Looks like I just pressed press that button um, all of a sudden. Yeah, I put it on a finger. I don't know why I did that. Silly goose. Let's try it out again because I just put the finger up here to make it stop. I was I was pushing it too hard. <laughs> Of course. Seriously. Why would I do one uh, Chevy Silverado? Because that's not usually fair. Anyways, I'm going to add um, a Chevy Silverado on the uh, left, and an 83 Chevy Silverado on the right, and a custom 62 Chevy will be right here in its place. I'm just going to see if this works. How does it know that everything gets there fine? But I want to see. I want to see if um. I want to see if you can make that make that landing. Here we go. Oh, this angle. I don't know if I could hit that one. Here we go. Set. Oh, I can't do that one here. Yeah, it's kind of kind of hard to do the sixty uh two. I think it's gonna get stuck. Yeah, that might be happening. That fine because all of a sudden nobody has heard of it. So, custom 62 Chevy won't get them from here. So, yeah. You know what? I could be mistaken. Chevy Silverado. We'll take it from here with the custom 69 Chevy pickup. Last four cars are on the line right now. As I have a Toyota off-road truck. He's good to stick, stick on the track from here. Mostly... Not every time because I do it from every car is from here. And that's in 620. Nissan Titan. Kind of like too long to do. Same thing like Chevy Silverado did. And Jeep Scrambler. Okay. Alright, everything's good and set up. Now let's see which car could definitely win by each trucks. Three, two, one, go. Uh oh, Nissan Titan. He got stuck up there. Unfortunately, he didn't he didn't stay well. Look. He can't move. All of a sudden he got stuck right there and his tail was dragging right down from here. Unfortunately, Nissan Titan will not be able to do it again or this run so yeah I don't think he's not doing well yeah it looks like his long tail was just sliding underneath the uh, finish line that's the way it goes because of him he does not deserve to get this one correctly so with that Toyota off-road truck will head on to now round number two and then we'll take on the winners. Instead of putting them forward, I want to see if the uh, backwards can work with that one here. Nissan Titan having a lot of trouble right now to get the truck on the roll of, of that. But other trucks, they get very, very tough to put it back right on the board. So right now, that's in 620 and Jeep Scrambler are mostly in forward. But this guy might be awkward, awkward on the run to do it with the other trucks. I'm going to find out if he can get there just in time. Uh, just in case, I need to push this camera right down here. Okay. There we go. Now let's see who could take this up win from here in this section. Set. Go. That didn't work either. Nissan Titan's eliminated. I can't have that truck's happen again. Looks like he couldn't uh, fit from the track. Unfortunately, he did not usually work well, so that was shocking. Dotson 620 says, I think Nissan Titan is having a lot of trouble to put it back on the road. So, yeah, we're just going to bump him out for sure. Sorry, uh, sorry, Nissan Titan. You are bumped out. Forget about putting the camera on that side. I'm gonna move the camera from here. So, with some other stuff, it will be, it'll be, um, 
There'll be two Fords and two Chevys on each side. Let's um, let's put this one right right in the position from here. As I'm going to put the Chevys on the left side right now and take a close look and see if Chevy Silverado stays up on its place. But custom '69 Chevy pickup is totally fitting well. Same thing with F-150. And the Ford Transit Connect it has a little hole here so you can connect the uh, other track stuffs as well. Looks alright. Let's uh, let's make sure everybody gets there fine. Okay, I think we're all ready to go. Alright, first set. Let's see who's going to take this one for the win. Set, go. That was even tough, but it looks like Ford Transit Connect took out Custom 69 Chevy pickup, the Chevy Silverado, and of course, the bad one, 2009 Ford F-150. So, Ford Transit Connect, we'll see who's going to take this win. Three, three cars, three trucks are on the model, as I'm going to see if, um, if he's going to pull it up right ahead. From uh, from the other end from here, I want to make sure if I get this one all set up and perfectly straight, so I get this one correct. And um, winner of that one, and next car wins. We'll take on against the Ford Transit Connect, and then after that one, we're gonna take a few minute break, and then we're gonna well find out who will take take the fight against the Ford Transit Connect because he's only gonna get one if he's gonna win. Here we go. Remark, get set, go. Oh, Jeep Scrambler. Oops. Should I feel like shooting from the other angle right now? Right? That's not fair for Jeep Scrambler to put it up from here, but <laughs> why did I do that at the first place? That was like not right. Well, unfortunately, I just I just gave him a slow down. You know what? We'll give him another chance right now, but this time. If I, if I do it in the other angle, I want to make sure everything gets there set up right from the start. There we go. I got the Jeep Scrambler in the uh, fourth lane, and I have the Toyota Off-Road truck in the uh, third lane. And Datsun, Datsun 240Z, oh, I'm sorry, Datsun 620 was in the first lane. Just going to make sure I uh, keep it right at the angle so, uh, so this... So the Jeep Scrambler won't get stuck at any problems right now. So I'm gonna find out if somebody could win the game, the race, and then we'll do it again. Set, go. Most oftenly, Datsun 620 takes on against Sport Transit Connect. For the first win, Sport Transit Connect going up against. Datsun 620. Alright, let's see who's going to win the first win. Alright, let's see who's going to take the first win. Three, two, one. That was Ford Transit Connect with the first win. So, that will be the end for, for him to take the first win for, for uh, Ford Transit Connect. And one loss will be Datsun 2620. All right, let me go ahead and take a break right now. Uh, we're gonna see which cars we brand. We'll take it on from here. Other cars right down there. Nissan Titan did not seem to look right, right at all. So I'm gonna have to like give him a try again, and then uh, we're gonna see which cars we'll take it on from here. Stick with us after this break. Now I'm just going to go ahead and uh, and do some uh, smaller cars right now here as I'm going to take a uh, closer look. Flashback, did you guys check check on the uh, Shelby, Chevy Silverado and from track time back in 2018? If so, make sure the links are in the description of this video at that point. So I want you to make sure to uh, keep an eye on uh, Chevy Silverado because he was flipped out in craziness. I would recommend watching the... Um, a best one for the uh, two dragging race lanes. Um, this is the four lane I have. 
But if you have the um, if you have a two or two lane version coming with Roger Dodger, then you probably may understand that one here too. So it looks like I only have uh, a couple cars right now on on the lane. Um, so right now, Ford Transit Connect has won once. Now we're going to see which cars are going to uh, take the win next. This time I'm going to do the uh, two Fords on this side, and then I'm going to do the two Chevrolets on the right side. So here we go. Let's see who's going to take the first one. Three, two, one, go. 62 Chevy. That was the custom part that was able to take from the spot and takes on to the second round. The last two on this side, um, I only have some couple cars here from the from Jeep and and from the uh, and from Toyota. So this time I'm going to do is do um, two of each time. Uh, now I do not want to hit a Jeep Scrambler like that, or else I could be sorry to to make him pay the price from here. Two cars on on the uh, on the left side of for, on the right side for and four, and then two cars on the left side will be the Ford F one fifty and the custom Ford Bronco. I'm not sure about the Bronco, but he looks like he's gonna have to take it out from here. We're not sure what he's gonna do. Here we go, next four. Set. Well, forgot to reset. Gonna make sure if I have this one right. Because if they're if they're in the lane then uh then they we can't determine who's gonna make the win, so uh gonna make sure I have that one reset too. Alright, here we go. Set, go. That was most intense car ever seen. The 2009 Ford F-150 has done it again. And he's going to, to take on against the Custom 62 Chevy on the second. Here we go, next four group of cars on the lane. Right now I have a Chevy from here. And then this one right down here. Also, um, if you find a better car right in, right in a position, you may get that understanding the difference between the Chevy Silverado and the other car that you are taking a look at. But for Nissan, I'm going to have to try him out and see if he's going to work on the top cars at the same time. But, um, I'm not sure if one of each cars could take that could take the spot from here because the only two car only two trucks that were hanging up here because um, this this Chevy Silverado thing was um, was the what doesn't have this bumper right here but for the Nissan Titan this guy um, has that two bumper sticking out from each from the track. I wonder if if it's causing problems for for on a track right now because one 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 car from the truck does not seem to look like he was going to make it that time because um all of a sudden and the bumper might be bumper in the front might be too loose to do it from here. I wonder if Nissan Titan can do that one better. If he doesn't get that one right, then uh, then we're going to have to find out if he can get this one correct. So here we go, next four. Let's get it on the track. All right, if Nissan Titan doesn't uh, think he could handle that starting gate, then, um, then it looks like we're going to have to like take it out because of all of a sudden, because 10 Toyota Tundra has the bigger wheels right from the issue. Ah, he works fine. But unfortunately, one of each cars did not win. Datsun 240Z did not win that time. So... It was the Chevy Silverado. And the last two models will be the Ford Transit Connect facing against the Chevy Silverado. Perhaps I would have to take it from uh, Lane One from here. Let's see who's going to take that win. Ford Transit Connect won once. Chevy Silverado didn't win that. Didn't win the first time, but he has to do it again. 
If he thinks he could win it, then Fortran to Connect only sticks up with one win. Here we go. Let's see which car could whip, whip better. Success! 83 Chevy Silverado successfully took out Fortran to Connect. Last four trucks for the first win. Custom 62 Chevy made 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 a made a win for his first time. Ford F-150 trying to like trying to like keep it up ahead from each other. But we only have is the Chevy Silverado with those two trucks. One in yellow, one in blue, and a Chevy is only in only this kind of color. I don't know what color that is, but Three Chevy, Chevys, two Chev Silverados, and one Chevy against the Ford. All right, let's see who's going to take the first win. Here we go. Let's see who's going to take the first win. Set, go. Well, all of a sudden you get stuck right from uh, from too too close to the um, to the uh, to the starter gate right from here. I think that's causing problems right now. But the winner for first, but the first win goes to lane four, the custom 62 Chevy. He's now tied up with Ford Transit Connect. I don't know if uh, 10 Toyota Tundra could fit here. He could be on this side. Hmm, he wants to face it out against the, another Toyota, so I'm going to go ahead and put this up. Uh, hey! Stop! Stop, stop getting away from my from me. Are you kidding me? His wheels might be sliding up underneath here. He might be too too long to go from here. We're going to see who could take the uh the C. You know what? We're going to see um blah. Okay, start over. We're going to see uh who's going to win the uh the truck. If 10 Toyota Tundra could stay inside the lane, then he's going to have to go help against the other guys. If if Toyota Offroad Truck takes that win, then ten Toyota Tundra can't be can't be uh, back on the uh, railway, on the downhill raceway. So let's find out which two models could fit, and see if ten Toyota Tundra or the Toyota Offroad Truck wins. All right, ten Toyota Tundra. If you don't succeed right now, and you're out, then you're not going to be back in the lane. Yep, we knew it because the, the wheel is grinding on the rail and all of a sudden Tan Toya Tanja tried his, tried his best but not able to race again. Two guys with the first win, Custom 62 Chevy and the Ford Transit Connect. But one of each trucks needs to take their first win. It's all up next right after the break. All right, so Ford Transit Connect 62 Chevy has made a win. But right now, we're going to take a quick look. And now we're going to put the Fords back up. Now, Ford F-150 was off and I lost it against the, uh, the Chevy Silverados. But he has some time to find out who could take this next win and see which truck model comes in. Now I better not be putting a finger on the uh, on this truck because I might be I might be cheating up because that could be that because that could be on me. So here we go. The the next race to go for the first win will be will be the uh, Ford F-150 then the uh, it's 1979 Ford F-150 the 15 Ford F-150 and the Ford Bronco. Here we go, this is for another race. We're going to need to find out who can take the number first win in lane three. Set, go. My, oh my, the 15 Ford F-150 got stuck. I don't know what the problem is, but that looks very weird. So, it looks like uh, that was very stun stunnable with the track. But it looks like the Ford F-150 was a little bit too big and too close to the uh, starting gate there. The um, 
man, the, I don't know what you call that one here, but it looks like it's a stunning part for a 1979 Ford F-150. And the Bronco was off into another un unsuccessful racing, but the winner of that champ going back, 2009 Ford F-150. All right, back from the other lane. Now let's get the Chevys on the uh, on the board. Here we have the uh, some Chevy Silverado part right from here on this side. Chevy Silverado on the outside, right from here. Then um, then of course uh, we we will bring back the custom '69 Chevy pickup truck. And of course the first win was the custom '62 Chevy pulling out the race. I don't know what he, I don't know what's going on with this problem with the uh, wheel, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch it up for for a quick second. Now I don't want to put the finger right into in from here because if that happens, then uh, then it might be a big trouble to go for that race. All right, here we go. One Chevy will take it on from here. Let's see which car could take the win and head on to the next. Set, go. Wow, the 62 Chevy just keeps it knocking it over and over again by other cars. One of each trucks could be in trouble right now, including with the Nissan Titan. He's a lot, a lot that long to, uh, to do that race from, from here, so I put him off backwards. Dotson 240Z trying to look out for another first win if he wants to take it from here. Jeep Scrambler, I don't know what he could do about that one, but he looks like he could be off the target right from the setup. And the Toyota off road truck may be off the hand, but it may be not that hard to put it up on the test because I'm just curious if uh, if he's going to get there just in time. Not, not to not to believe uh, which car is going to ha happen, uh, what, what model will take on for the next one. We need to see who will take the first place winner and head on to the next round. So we're going to need to find out who could take this one for the win. Four cars lined up. Nissan, Datsun, Toyota, and Jeep. You can see who's going to take the next round in. Go! Toyota and Nissan are stuck. And it didn't believe that Toyota was going to be able to happen. Unfortunately for Toyota, T's too close to the finish line. So it looks like those two cars. And this guy got stuck up here again. Looks like Nissan's not having a good day. Here. So for lane three winner, it was Datsun 620. All right, one more, one more left, and then we bring out. So one car was Datsun 620, and now bringing on in is the Ford Transit Connect, and only last four cars standing right now. Remember, if Ford Transit Connect wins, then he's going to have to take the second time to head in for the final. He might be off the topic because I'm not sure if he's going to take it. Take a close look because Nissan is like not doing really well. Yeah, and I pushed him up with the uh, with the lane right here. We're gonna see if he could work really well. Jeep Scrambler and Toyota off road will be off the way to make that off the top of the head. Off of your heads? I don't know about that. <laughs> I couldn't say it that way. Here we go. Ford Transit Connect going for a second time. And it looks like we finally got a winner. Nissan Titan finally got a chance to go right in the position. So far, only the four cars definitely are on a spot right now. Dotson going to have to try to take the first win. But Nissan Titan, he says, I'm going to go deener deener. I don't know about him. He's like a neener neener like a vanster. Whatever. However, I might see which car could take that win. Remember, Ford Transit Connect only has one. 62 Chevy has won once. If Ford F-150, Datsun, or Nissan wins, 
then they're all freed up and then they're going to race the battle on battle to do from here for the first win at the time so one car from in, in the third lane will for the win and then in the fourth lane we're going to see which one could take another one here we go winning for the third lane And we have a successful win taking lane three, the Ford F-150. Ford F-150, 62 Chevy, and four Transit Connect are have a first win in each three lanes. But who will win in the fourth lane? Find out right after this message. I'll be right back. Alright, the battle for the fourth lane is on. So, four Transit Connect has won once. But I'm going to change it up to two sets of the win if uh, and see right now because I'm not going to do three because that will be a waste of time. And 62 Chevy has, that will be taken in the second lane. But right now, in the third lane, will be the Ford F 150. And we need to find out who could take the. the final lane right in red so let's find out who could take it from here right now we're gonna sum it all up starting off I'll do is the Datsun 2 620 and the Toyota off-road truck on the right and then the two Chevys right in the middle the 69 Chevy pickup truck and the Silverado Let's see which one could take the win and head on to the final four. Alright, first car truck, group of car trucks. Let's see which one who could going to take the first win and head on to the fourth lane. And most again, it was Dotson 620. Was just pulling up as an impressive run. Trying to go from the fourth lane. I don't know what he could do. Alright, so the first one was the Datsun 620. Now, we're going to need to find out which car will take it from here. Now, let's bring up the Ford and, and see which, um, which truck could take the uh, final spot. Two off-road trucks. Let me go ahead and do that one here too. And then I will take some couple of the Chevys. Um, the Chevy Silverado right from here and then I will take is the Jeep I'm gonna find out which uh, truck could do better with those two guys but I better not be sticking up with the finger you know what besides that um, I will take um, I will move this one over and then I'm gonna um, dang it um, I'm sorry. Um, I'm making some fewer adjustments right now, just trying to make sure I get everything right. If the wheel gets stuck right there, um, don't worry. So I'll have to give him another shot because of um, if the wheel gets stuck on the uh, starting gate, then that's it. We couldn't. Uh, we can't uh, let. We can't wait that. We can't waste the video that longer. Here we go. Let's see which car, which truck could win. Wow, a Ford. A Ford Bronco was able to take to see if he could take that one. Ford Bronco, custom Ford Bronco has taken on to the next round. All right, the last three trucks right down on the floor will be this Ford truck, then the Nissan Titan. I don't know if I could do it backwards again because I'm just like. I'm like putting bad by boner by boning up the by boning up the team right from here. So here we go. The second to last uh, will be now racing for the third winner for the third lane. We'll take on two cars, the Datsun and the Ford Bronco. Over two cars, we'll race it for the win to take in lane four. Here we go. Let's see which truck wins. All right, let's see who's gonna take the win. Three. Two, one. And the win puts up Chevy Silverado right from the place. In third lane. And now 
Nissan gets stuck. He doesn't think he could take the win at all, at the all cost. You know what? We're going to bump out Nissan Titan because he gets stuck every time. That was like four times in a row. And let's bring back the custom 69 Chevy pickup and see, uh, see which truck has the better spot. Hey, I was not ready yet. All right, here we go. Last two, last two trucks on a set for the for the last time. Here we go. Last two trucks on the lane. Let's see who wins. Custom '69 Chevy pickup has taking on to the final round to take the win of lane four. All right, this is it. The four trucks needs to find out who could take the win. Will it be Datsun 240Z, Datsun 620, Custom Ford Bronco, Chevy pickup truck, or the Chevy Silverado? All right, here we go. Winner in lane four will take on the rest of the four cars of Ford F-150, 62 Chevy, and the Ford Transit Connect. Here we go. Last four trucks. Let's see who takes the win. Once again, Datsun 620 has made its first win. All the trucks on the other hand are eliminated. And now we're going to find out the second win and the third win. Alright, now it's time for the final four trucks right on the line for the second win. So, lane one is Ford Transit Connect. Lane two, the 62 Chevy. Oh, I might be stuck in the new fear. I don't know what's going to happen. Lane three, the 2009 Ford F-150 and lane 4, the Datsun 620. Two Fords, one Chevy, and one Datsun. Let's see who takes the second win. Here we go, second win. Three, two, one. Datsun 620, and it looks like 62 Chevy got stuck. Wow, what the heck happened? There's your, that's the first win for Datsun 620, trying to put an upset on the Ford Transit Connect. Here we go. This is for the third one. Alright, this is it. Now, now he's going to be in here. Now I'm just going to replace one of each trucks. He had, they're going to be on the outside right now. If Datsun wins, free, free wins, it's over. If Ford Transit Connect wins, and he's got two, and he's going to pick up the battle. If Ford F-150 wins, then he wins. If the 62 Chevy wins, then we got a sudden death matchup. So, which vehicle will win? Ford Transit Connect needs two wins. F-150 needs two wins. And 62 Chevy needs to win. We're going to need to see who's going to take the win. If Datsun, free, if Datsun 620 wins again, it's over. If he wins, it's over. If he wins, then he's in a sudden death battle. This is it. Three wins for Dotson. No! 62 Chevy just pulls out a muscle while these two cars are going for a neck and neck battle. Now the third place matchup will be the four trend to connect against 2009 Ford F-150 and a, and a sudden championship win for free will be the 62 Chevy and a Datsun 620. There we go, third place matchup. We have the Ford Transit Connect. He's doing really well but he has to go for this win with that time and the Ford F-150 Looking up to put the heavy gasser right on the place. If Ford F-150 wins, it's over. The third place matchup, matchup is done. If Ford Transit Connect wins, it's over. Then the third place matchup will be finished. 
Here we go. Fair place matchup win. Ford Transit Connect wins the third place matchup. What a play this is, and he takes the bronze. What a nice looking fella. And we're gonna set up the cars. Um, we're gonna set up the cars. We're gonna place it right here. Ford uh, F-150 will be in um, in last. Then the Ford Transit Connect is in the is right now in third. Here we go. Last two by each car. Here we go. This is the last two. The 62 Chevy has to be right, right from here. But the Datsun 620, realizing that he has to get this one correct. Remember, the third win will win it all. If Datsun 620 wins, it's over. It's, if 62 Chevy wins, it's over. Then the first one will be going out to the first place by a gold medal. Here we go. Last two race. What will it be? An upset! Pulling off Datsun 620, the 62 Chevy was too close to the starting gate, but he went off further ahead. Well, there you go. The winner of that place in first place was the 62 Chevy. Now I'm going to place it back up with the uh, with the surfboard whoops okay and he's off on the road well folks that is the end of the race I hope you enjoyed this video if you like to see some more don't forget you could subscribe to my channel also follow hit all also you could follow uh, race groups on YouTube also he does track time if you have guys got a chance to do that one and uh, there's a lot more stuff going on with the drag racing right down from the uh, from track time racing. So there you have it, folks. 62 Chevy is the ultimate winner for succeeding three wins in a row. So that's to do it today. I hope you have fun with your cars and stay safe. Have a great day. And until next time with another Truck Weekly Dial. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.